Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Gemini. How are you guys this week, Gemini? Hope you're all well. Let's see what the energy is around you. Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? Gemini, wants to come out. Okay, little healing, rebuilding the old heart chakra. Ooh, very nice. Looks like you're succeeding, raising your vibration. What you put out comes towards you. Oh, you got love coming in. Looks like some of you are ready for love. <laughs> Beautiful. I see some kind of movement in your love life. Okay. What you put out comes back. Beautiful energy. This is why you want to reheat, want to heal before you put yourself out there. You want to raise that vibration. What a lovely energy. Gemini. Yeah. You making a choice some of you may have a choice even between a couple people but this has to do with being very passionate i see a passionate new beginning going down a path you could be taking something to the next level here Ooh, yeah it's a crossroads energy though sometimes when you're at that crossroads you know you have to look out for yourself first and foremost okay make sure you've healed i see a beautiful energy yeah so things have been stuck Okay. This is also an energy of protecting yourself. Four of Pentacles is also about balance. Now, it's an energy of not only protecting yourself, it's, a, it, it's often an energy of, um, I mean, maybe it's an energy where you've kept yourself in a stuck situation because you needed to rebuild the heart chakra. You needed to heal from something. But it's also about not focusing on one thing too much. Okay, Focusing on all aspects of your life and staying balanced. Okay, so a couple of messages there. Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know? Yeah. yeah. Someone's definitely been keeping feelings to themselves. Yeah, see, protecting your heart, keeping things close to your chest. It's an energy where someone, you know, it's an energy of someone drinking their own fears. You have somebody here, you know, can I have some of that? And someone's, you know, keeping it all to themselves. So I feel it's a need to heal. Okay, Somebody is healing. You could have someone reaching out. Yeah, no, a painful period in your life is over. So this is over. Something is finished. You're ready for the next uh, level in your life here. Ooh, what a nice energy. Yeah, so I do see change moving on. See, just kind of going with the flow here. I see a lot of beautiful change. Very nice, yeah. You've got some movement in your love life. You're moving past this energy if you had a situation with someone who you know, made up a lot of excuses every time it's time to the next take a next level this is where you have to start looking at yourself that you may need to heal something because it's what you put out there comes towards you okay always remember that but there's the star see releasing things that no longer serve so this is also part of healing it's inner cleansing going within releasing things that no longer serve so i actually feel like you're definitely you know, and definitely things are flowing. Things are starting to move because the world is here. But it has to do with change. Okay. So there's definitely a beautiful change. Yeah, there you are, charge. You're thinking things through, becoming more decisive. You're going after something here. If it's not yourself, it's another person. I do see an Aquarius. Yeah, it could be them going through this. But I feel like it's the two people going to come together here. Yeah, you got an opportunity. Oh, nice. This is a person coming in, putting their best foot forward, planting the seed. So it's an energy of the seed, something to build upon. So this is a lovely energy. I feel like, you know, this is someone's hopes and dreams here. This is such a nice energy for you because the reason why... And, once you've healed, once you've gotten over the past, you've released everything that no longer serves, you're willingly letting it go. You start to become clear, more decisive. Things start clearing up, you see? I, I feel that decisiveness is really important and taking time to think things through, you see? Yeah, let's have a look at the Ace of Wands. Has to do with making a choice, choosing the one. Yeah, there could be someone in your social circle. I see good news, opportunities coming in. Wow, very nice. Yeah, I see a king of wands energy. Somebody in your social circle, very charming. 
Okay. Now, maybe it's this person that's going through the healing. Please take this as it resonates. Now, this is a person who often, it's a leader. It's someone who takes the lead. Okay. It's a person who is theatrical, sometimes dramatic, very fiery, passionate, often very creative. It's a person who's very determined. So I like that energy for the second pass here. Yeah, this is definitely someone single. Oh, see, someone here has been single. This is often a person who pretty much has everything they need but love, you see, because they need to heal. Someone who's keeping themselves stuck and single. Now, if you have someone who's been keeping you stuck and single, they keep making up excuses, it looks like that's coming to an end, okay? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, see, lifestyle habits, the way someone conducts themselves. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, it's an energy of someone having faith. Yeah. It could be just a person who needs to heal. They've kept themselves stuck, okay, because of something that ended, you know. And it could be the per also the person, like I say, who makes up excuses. They drink their own tears. They keep things close to their chest. So let's have a look at that. Page of Cups energy. It's a communication, often apology. But I actually feel that something is finished here. Yeah, no longer talking, no longer giving. It looks like you're not giving to someone. It's possible they've been keeping you stuck and single. And it's kind of, you know, it can be very draining. It does look like you, you're ending a situation. I feel like you're moving on. But I like the fact that things are flowing. There's an energy of change coming. See, you're knowing your worth and value. You're releasing all this energy. It's not serving you. It's not in your best interest. Oh, you got a King of Cups coming in. Till you experience the King of Cups. <laughs> Very nice. So it looks like you're making some wise choices here. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. See, it takes a little time to release all that energy to heal. But you know your worth and value. This is where you kind of take things slow. You look at the details. If you feel a little apprehensive, okay? So think, think things through. It's about choosing your battle, something worth fighting for. Yeah. Yeah, it's an energy of something worth fighting for, not over. Yeah, it does look like you have a person who's kept you stuck. But for some of you, it could be a person who's gone through this. Okay, they needed to heal because of a painful situation. So it's, sometimes it's a person who drinks their own tears. They keep things close to their chest. They keep themselves in that kind of, kind of, it's very negative. I mean, this is someone who has, they have everything they need but love. You see, you can see someone here not looking very happy. Almost a little depressed and lonely. You know, they got all this beautiful stuff around them, but they're not happy. Okay, low vibrational energy. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here? Yeah, justice and balance. So justice is about to go in your favor. So it has to do with somebody coming in right, putting their best foot forward. I love this. See, this is where I feel like you realize somebody isn't right for you or they don't treat you right. Whatever's happened. Yeah, see, there it is. Overcoming obstacles, challenges, conflicts. See, a lot of drama. So it does look like it's there's been some obstacles here. See, I feel like this is this could be somebody coming back around in this energy. I have to be honest, for some of you, they're coming back with a higher vibration because they have healed. So I say, take it as it resonates. You got a King of Cups coming in. Emotionally mature, available. Okay. Somebody taking things a little slower, overcoming obstacles, challenges. But definitely some of you, it could be a, a new person as well. Yeah, so look at that. Two people who were just right. So I feel like you got a soulmate connection. And it could be too where you realize someone here just isn't right for you. And you just willingly. When you realize someone's not right for you, you just let go. Okay? Or a situation, you know. Like I say, it could be even friends and family. Someone in your social circle. It could be anyone. Even a family member. But you've got this beautiful King of Cups energy. Higher vibration. Happy. Emotionally balanced. Someone who loves themselves first. Often people need to heal. They need, maybe we. you've got someone here who wasn't faithful. Okay. They, needed to, they need to heal. They need to, need to learn to forgive themselves and love themselves first. So do look at that energy. Let's have a look at the rebuilding. Yeah, see? It's the energy of waiting. Waiting for news. Waiting for communication. 
it's an energy of you know waiting for positive energy i feel because it's wand energy i feel like something you've been wanting is coming maybe you've waited for this person maybe it's yourself waiting but i feel it has to do some of you definitely too little too late okay it's finished you have another person but others of you it could very well be this person going through a healing and coming in it's a person who often is lonely longing for love see i feel that some of you it's a person who's kept themselves stuck in single mode with this very negative energy a lot of drama conflict could be family friends issues someone was going through see something to do with their history their upbringing you see a lot of holding on to a lot of things that keep them stuck maybe being selfish okay it could be just their day-to-day -day life their habits so i feel there's an energy of change okay of habits lifestyle the way someone behaves but do be a little cautious of anyone who comes in if you know who this is you might not even know who this is this could be just something they communicate with you but i feel like you know okay and i do feel like you're going to make the right choice here it does look like some of you have a choice yeah see you're manifesting <laughs> You're manifesting high vibrational energy. You have all the tools, the information, everything you need to know. Okay, you have everything you need to know here. Yeah, very nice. Gemini. Yeah, see, staying grounded, being practical. So a lot of focus on your money, your house, your home. Someone here sees you as, as marriage material. I feel... This Queen of Pentacles this isn't just marriage material that you're self-manifesting while you're waiting, maybe money, okay? And just learning to ground yourself, being sensible. I do feel some of you, the ship has sailed. It's too little, too late. You no longer see a future with someone. Um, but others of you, like while you're waiting, you're just focused on other things, your house, your home, your money. You're manifesting. You have everything you need. I feel like you're preparing ahead. It's also a message telling you to get prepared, <laughs> while you're waiting that's the head that's my heads up card the queen of pentacles okay get your money in order your house in order ground yourself you know whatever it is you feel you need to do some of you are already in that energy let's have a look at the shine card Ooh, there we go yeah see being patient investing something to do with the timing so it's while you're waiting just be a little bit patient focus on things i feel this patience will pay off and be patient with yourself if you are healing yourself okay if this is your self healing okay be patient with yourself ground yourself beautiful you, you've got love coming in regardless there's movement in your love life so there's definitely this beautiful energy of change and movement i really like this for you what an interesting read for you. It's definitely different. It's unusual. Um, from what I can remember your last few readings anyway. It just feels like you're you're off on the, there's this change coming. You're off on this path. And I do see an energy of going with the flow, someone going with the flow. But I see growth, personal growth, and the need of change. So if it is somebody coming back around, you may have changed. Okay, you may not be interested in this person. It's quite possible. Um, but there's definitely choices for some. So let's have a look at the six. Love, this connection. Ooh, that wanted to come out. There it is. Truth, success, victory. <laughs> Win or lose. <laughs> I love it. This is the truth. This is that aha moment. Okay, so there is some kind of truth. I do see having success with someone. If you could be patient, I feel like you're going to have success. I feel focusing on your own financial success will help. Okay, it grounds you. It gives you something to focus on. You know, you've got an opportunity coming in. I mean, some of you, you could have job opportunities as well. It could come from a friend or family member uh, helping you manifest. Okay. But you have the tools. You have everything you need. You see, to manifest while... See, it's pointing right up while you're waiting. You see, rebuilding. If you're waiting for someone to rebuild, to heal, I feel like your patience will pay off if you want it. If you don't and you've changed, you may have another person. You might be moving on from somebody that's ended. So let's have a look at that uh, Ten of Swords. Why is it here? 
Yeah, so there's definitely been trust issues, okay? Trust issues with this uh, Five of Swords. See, somebody wasn't reaching out. It could be someone who had baggage, trust issues from another situation. But I do feel, like I say, if you feel like you can't trust somebody, okay, and you've moved on, yeah, I also see someone being a little frustrated. That's why I say, if you're frustrated, be patient. Try to be patient. You're almost there. It's another five. Temporary energy. Any more? Yeah, see? There it is, another five. These are all temporary energies. It's all coming to an end. Okay, feeling like there's no hope. Focusing on, you know, not having enough. The cup half empty instead of half full. So there's definitely this cycle, this energy that's ending. It's done. It's finished. Who is this King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Yeah. Oh, somebody very generous, kind, likes to give gifts. It could be someone who has children or likes children. Family-oriented. It's someone longing for love. Yeah. If you're a single parent, this person's definitely good with that. I also feel, I mean, this is somebody who gives gifts. They like to give gifts. They can be quite generous. See, you've got someone who wasn't generous. And you got someone coming in. But it still could be this person coming in more generous. It's also an energy of someone who could be missing someone. It's also an energy of someone very sentimental. So I actually feel like it all just depends if you got two. Okay? But you're getting a heads up regardless. Um, this this is generally someone very generous with their time, their energy, their love. Even if you have children, they're generous. Um, they're sentimental. It's somebody who likes to create memories. They, they, they remember birthdays, things like that, you see. So it looks like you have someone here maybe kind of low vibrational, someone who um, is uh, much more positive, emotionally healthy, okay? So uh, mature. Beautiful, yeah. See, this is could be someone you work with. It's also an energy of someone who may have been doing some inner work. Like I say, I can see two scenarios. Uh, but this is someone perfecting their craft. See, they want to build. They want to build something. But it takes two people, okay? Yeah, this is someone who puts in a lot of effort with family, friends, children. I mean, it, it's just such a... I, I'm definitely seeing an energy of three for some of you. Someone in your social circle, okay? Yeah. Both of these people, actually. Yeah, I still feel some of you, it's just one person coming in very changed. Yeah, see, it's an energy of, of strength, confidence. See, somebody didn't have faith. They lack the confidence. It's some of you, too, finding the confidence to end. See, something you were focused on. A lot of drama, chaos, conflict, competition. You know, it just looks like drama. Yeah, but it's also an energy of someone who comes in and takes action. They fight for what they want. But I feel like you're just grounding yourself, okay? I really feel like you're just keeping yourself balanced, changing. There's, I feel there's change, too, the way you're living your life, um, things that you're doing. So I, I feel like you're just in a beautiful, positive. It, it's an energy of drawing someone towards you that's high vibrational. See, maybe, you, you know, this is yourself being high vibrational. Miss, maybe this is something that's happened. And it finally, you took the strength and the confidence to put an end to it painful or not okay so yeah very nice though i see success victory with someone i see truth yeah see <laughs> marriage commitment the strong see it's an energy of someone who comes in and they build that foundation they put their best foot forward they're manifesting you see you've manifested this why because of the way you're conducting yourself Maybe when you're out and about, you know, you may attract people who aren't, are undesirable too. Because <laughs> sometimes when you're high vibrational, people are attracted to you because they're low vibrational. So do pay attention, okay? But there's still that beautiful positive energy of that King of Cups here. Yeah, see, as soon as I said King of Cups, someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, 
not afraid of putting themselves out there. I see a lot of emotion. This is a very happy, positive person. And this is somebody who wants to build. They want a, a happy home, happy life. I do think it's someone sentimental. They like to create memories. You see, this isn't someone who forgets birthdays or anything like that. They like that kind of thing. Makes them feel good. They're generous. It makes them feel good to give. So you got a, a, a beautiful, lovely energy. I, I see you you know, committing to someone here, but I see building the foundation. Okay. I feel it's telling you preparing yourself heads up and just be a little patient, not much longer. Okay. The patience is going to pay off. I also see some of you investing in, in your house, your home, your finances, taking care of things. Okay. But look at the connection. You could mirror this person a little bit too. Like you kind of maybe both want the same thing. If it's children, you know, if you want it, they'll go for it. Some of you don't. You don't want children. I mean, obviously, sometimes the Queen of Pentacles is someone who, you know, has been by themselves, very independent. But whatever it is, whatever it is that you're wanting, I feel it's, you know, it's it's coming your way. You may have, it's, you know, while you're waiting too, you know, maybe you were waiting for somebody here. But while you're waiting, you may change your mind once this person comes in. So just stay grounded. Stay focused, okay? Just be really practical. Look, it's where you sit down and go, do I see myself with this person? Because you, know, you could have someone here where there's still obstacles, challenges, okay? So you have to look. Are you up for the challenge? <laughs> Are these things that could be overcome? Maybe, maybe not. But I just like this energy right down here. Gemini, take care of yourself. Just patience a little bit more. Stay in that positive energy, okay? Because what you put out there is what's going to come towards you. If you've been feeling like this, like there's no hope, you have everything you need, you're single, you're stuck, that's the kind of energy that'll come towards you, okay? Take care. We'll see you soon.